Hello, everybody. It is 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Thursday. It is time for the Great Service Comeback. I'm Tony Johnson, Customer Experience Leader. So happy to be here to close your week out. I want to give you a couple of things to think about. I also want to make sure you know that I will be having a new amazing podcast drop with a fantastic retail and military leader, Scott Bauerschmidt. So please make sure you tune in up to that at uh, Customer Service Academy. You can get it on iTunes. You can get it on Google Podcasts. You can get it on iHeartRadio Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, everywhere. So please make sure you dial that up. It is a fantastic interview to be sure. That said, I want to dive right in because I know that your week, your time is precious. Remember, we will not be on the air on Fridays. We are Monday through Thursday, giving you Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to regroup, recharge, and really get ready for the most amazing following week. So as we think about all the things that are going on out there, you know, places getting ready to reopen, we are seeing not just hairstyling salons, not just nail parlors, not just uh, barber shops getting ready to reopen, but we are seeing restaurants in some states getting ready to go from 25 to 50% capacity. Uh, Walt Disney World, in fact, in Florida has filed plans with the state on what it's going to mean for them to reopen. They are testing in Shanghai what that's going to feel like, and we are seeing, again, even more steps toward normalizing out there in the universe. So I want to make sure we think through what that's going to mean. And I want to give you three things to keep an eye on as you go into next week. So the first, as you reopen, don't be tempted to skimp on training. Don't be tempted to cut that out of your budget because it is something that many, many organizations, especially large organizations, try to really cut corners on when they think about uh, trying to save some money, trying to salvage the budget. And I know everybody out there is fighting, and I mean fighting for your lives right now in terms of, of budget, of sales, of revenue, of trying to, in some cases, just to keep your doors open. So please know that this is a, a, a the time for training and, and also a time to make sure that everybody in your organization is completely on the same page for service style, for skills training, for what it means to deliver an exemplary customer experience. All of those things matter and training is normally what will drive the most fantastic results when it comes to delivering on those promises. So that's the first thing. The second is don't cut corners, period. I was actually at a, at a local grocery store the other day and I noticed that there were no carts to be had. They had actually trimmed back some of the front end employees and so they didn't have anybody sanitizing carts nor did they have anybody going and getting them and bringing them back in. So as after I got into the store and I started looking around, I realized there weren't any carts and I had to walk all the way back into the parking lot and I, I had to kind of hijack one from one of those cart corrals and sanitize it and take it in, which before the whole coronavirus outbreak wouldn't have seemed like that big a deal. Maybe you'd lament that, gosh, I wish they'd had these things up front, but you wouldn't think about some of the other stuff. But now that we've all become the custom to seeing somebody maybe handing you a cart, maybe sanitizing it uh, as you walked in so that you could see them do it, you know, it becomes a little more sketchy when you don't see people doing that. So just know that some of these expectations have not gone anywhere. So you'll want to make sure you keep, you know, tight hold of that. But also don't cut corners on the cleaning supplies you buy. Don't cut corners on how you get things done, what your cleaning schedule looks like, how you're going to maintain all of these things. Again, not the place to skimp, especially when it comes to keeping people safe and healthy. And that's not just your front of the house operations. You have to make sure you keep this in mind in your back of the house operations too, because keeping your team safe is part and parcel on par with keeping your guests and your customers safe. So that's the second piece. And then the third piece, listen to your teams. Your employees, your frontline associates, the heart and soul of your operations, they may have a lot to say as they start to come back as you reopen your doors. They're going to find some of the processes that you put in place that probably were very well-meaning, that were probably well thought out. They may not work so well in the real world, and that's okay. That's why we test stuff. So as you find that things may not work or as you get employee feedback or as your customers give you feedback, absolutely listen to that. Absolutely take it to heart. Don't take it personally. You may have been the person who put some of these new policies and procedures in, in place. It's okay. You're going to listen to your employees. They're going to give you fantastic advice because remember they are right there on the front lines they are the ones dealing with this in real time as they say so it's a great way to learn to iterate and then to move on to what's next which is why we should never fall in love with what we're doing we should always be ready for what we're going to do next and again you're going to get again great feedback from from both your customers and your team members on what's working and what's not so make sure you listen to that also make sure you know that if you need extra help i am here for you you can go to igniteyourservice.com or if you want to get right to it igniteyourservice.com slash comeback you can also find my book together we serve on amazon 
All of these will help you operationalize some of these fantastic tactics and deliver them to your teams and to your guests in a way that will be meaningful, impactful, productive, and a way that you can grow your business. If you need more than that, reach out to me at Tony at IgniteYourService.com. I'm here for you as well. We can schedule some custom consulting and training. We can look at your branding. We can look at your guest and employee experience. We can help you bring it all together into one package. And again, I am here to help. So if you need additional assistance, reach out to me today. Don't wait. Reach out as soon as possible because we're in the middle of the great service comeback and your customers are watching. So until next week, I'm Tony Johnson, your customer experience leader. Enjoy your weekend. Stay safe. See you again on Monday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for tuning in.